It should look a little bit something like this. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> that welcome back to the channel my name is Danny and today I'm gonna show you how exactly I cut my hair by myself so it's already done but I'm gonna take you step by step through the whole process and I've mentioned it in a few of my previous videos and people have been asking like how exactly do you go about it and at the end of the video we're also gonna do a little vlog I'm gonna update you on what is going on with me right now challenges that I'm doing right now cold showers body transformation travel plans let's go Do, do let's jump into the haircut and I personally would say the haircut that I'm having is sort of of a fade undercut you could call it something like that and I've been cutting my hair at this point for probably somewhere around like 10 years at this point and different reasons for it but first we're gonna actually get into how I do it and I would say step number one is I start cutting the sides mm -hmm. Alrighty people, so let's just get into it. Not much pre-planning here in the bathroom. I would say I'm first like I'm just gonna clean up all this space because obviously hair is gonna be falling. And back in the day when I used to like a few years ago live at home, we had like a interesting bathroom mirror where you could like flip the sides and therefore see where you want to do your haircuts. But as of right now, especially because I like to do my haircut myself and it's just a habit at this point to be honest. I bought myself this little interesting mirror with which I can see the back of my head perfectly. I got it from Ikea, it's like five euro, like six, seven bucks and uh, I'm sure you could order something like this online. It looks a little weird but it does the purpose. Okay, we're gonna be getting into the haircut. Obviously what you're gonna need is a hair clipper. This one I actually just bought a few weeks ago. The video is not sponsored. I was using Remington for a few years already. And usually they last me like two to three years. So this is the third machine that I got for myself and I haven't actually tried it before. Yeah, the hair clipper here, you can like adjust what millimeter amount you want to have. And the first thing that I'm gonna be doing is cleaning up my sides. That means I wanna do sort of more or less of a fade cut. Sometimes it works, uh, works out better, sometimes not as much. But basically I'm gonna start cutting down my hair over here to a short length of like three to four, five, six millimeters, something like that. Alrighty, so we're getting there and I know it probably looks really, really quite weird just, you know, to have like a bunch of hair. And uh, number two is actually working on the fade. So I don't want to be like a super undercut. I used to have it back in the day, but I don't really like it. It's like when here is like no hair at all and then all of a sudden, boom. So you want to have a little fade, like a portion where the hair is a little like super short, then medium short, then a little longer, and then as long as it is on the top. I also could just be cutting my hair normally into the mirror, kind of like that, you know? But there, it would be hard to really get this accurately. And this is like the main reason why I have this mirror. So if you don't have the mirror, if I would be traveling, which we're gonna be talking about in a second as well, then, uh, you know, I just do my best and... As of right now, I am in the process of fading down the sides. And I gotta say, I am actually at this point also pretty happy with the side so it's really short up here and then like three millimeters four five six and then i was working with like 15 millimeters up here and then with the 12 millimeters i i kind of like faded it together a little bit with the nine millimeters. number three is usually cleaning up the sides over here just taking off this thing off Basically it's at zero millimeters. I'm shaving all these areas where hair often grows and it looks not that nice. So, you know, you just clean it up. It's actually quite easy. And there it just happened. I screwed up a little bit. So Unfortunately, I made them shorter than I usually do that, that I would maybe wanted it to be, but whatever, it's gonna grow out fast and 
The last step is gonna be to use and number four is the work up on top. So pretty much uh, right now my hair haven't been that long. So I kept it pretty much the way it was. Maybe cut up like a few millimeters, a few centimeters. to Use this one over here. So it's pretty much a bigger length with which you can cut actually up to 44 millimeters. And I'm right now quite happy with the length up front. So it's not that long, but I wanna keep going to be pretty much it now time for a shower it looks sort of like this sometimes i wear a cap just so the hair is not all over the place and the question that i also get really often is yo dude how do you style your hair and uh, yeah so basically this is the product that i'm using this is pretty much all I do. I just rub the product in my hands and then I just go in for like a minute or two and just toss my hair pretty much to the back. Boom. Okay, and at this point I would say let's look at the final result. This is pretty much it and at first the hair is always a little bit more shiny a little bit more sticky but like in a few hours it like that is it and i've already seen in the mirror that the fade here is really not that great and it's really different from time to time and i do have to say like this is the hair it took me like to be honest like after two weeks or something maybe after a week already you don't really see all like the maybe places where i mess up a little bit and um yeah so i don't really care attitude towards it well i'm just gonna be hardening up in terms of like people are maybe gonna look some people may be gonna ask me especially in the beginning if you would want to try cutting your own hair you are gonna mess up but i don't know just see the self-confidence training i would say and obviously for me it saves money at this point still I like to cut my hair like every three to four weeks so that uh, with the many things that I do in terms of frugal uh, frugal living it does make a difference and the last thing is it's just time saving and mental energy saving sure if you have the one barber who knows exactly what you want to have it's as easy probably maybe even easier but for me I know how I want to look at I don't want to look for a place I don't want to explain the guy what I want if and by no means this is a perfect haircut or one-on-one -on -one how you should do it. This is just something that I've personally been doing. I'm not a professional hairdresser or anything. And if you're new here on the channel right now, well, let me take you along on a little bit more of who I am and what I do and for all my people over here. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna update you a little bit, but I would say first, let's get a little coffee. Let's sit down for a little coffee and chat a little. Let's go. Alrighty, my friends, the coffee is rocking. Is it focusing? Yes. So I hope you're ready to hang out. It's a little too hot yet, still. We have a few things to talk about. So for everyone who is possibly new on the after the haircut, jumped in for a cold shower. I think at this point I'm at like day 10 or something and it's a very interesting development. Okay, so I just looked through the footage and I noticed that I had a little problem, which is basically I forgot to put like from manual focus to autofocus and like a lot of it has been super unfocused. So just basically just sum up everything that I've said in the last few days and especially weeks, like since I've came back from the huge Philippine trips, trip, I've been focusing on really personal development up here but also very practically so i've started the body transformation challenge and in terms of that everything is going pretty well i'm I, I loving the workouts and i'm definitely seeing some progress happening and i will be documenting that also started the cold showering challenge without really expecting much to happen but i do have to say that also with, with reading into on the one side, the physiological benefits uh, that I've mentioned in the previous video, if you haven't watched it, definitely check it out. But also on the other side, things like stoicism and voluntary exposure to pain or uncomfortable situation, how it can help you really mentally in life. And so for the next few weeks and months, my goal is really going to be as cliche as maybe like corny as it sounds, getting the best version of myself. 
on the one side physically but on the other side even more importantly mentally well and when it comes to traveling seeing the world feeling this certain freedom you could say I've been really considering what I want to do in the next few years and I think that towards the end of the year I'll be planning a very big project connected to a very big trip also and um, fixing yourself first cleaning up your room and what I mean by that is just becoming the best version of yourself so I know like actually it's just like my haircutting video I'm going to snooze probably thinking like what is going on what is what's wrong with this dude but yeah this is what we do here on this channel everything everything has a meaning you know what I'm saying all right I'm gonna get into cooking up my dinner see you in the next one got a world to see you.